Oh, hello. Um, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I was just taking some photos of this uh, old uh, Pentacon 6 TL, which has some uh, problem with the slipping advance mechanism. So uh, let's take a look inside. Well, just tiny. <clears throat> Let's uh, see what's actually happened here. Uh, this old Pentagon Six uh, had a have a problem with the slipping, uh, not sleeping, but slipping film advance, uh, which make. I can push the button and advance the film winder. But the film itself will not at all move. I have an arrow here. Hmm. And when I put it back and close the lid and advance the film, nothing really happened. Hmm. So what to do about that? <clears throat> well, uh, I will begin to take uh, off the this uh, no, <clears throat> the uh, the top cover, and uh, to do that, ah, I cannot have the lens on, so I'll take that off. It's quite heavy, so nice design. <clears throat> But um, so um, and the the viewfinder, which is quite big, <laughs> amazing. <coughs> there are some parts that need to be taken off. Um, uh, we begin with the three screws here, two on the front here, and one under here. Or could I actually come away with the... Uh, no. Well, first of all, I will take off those uh, tiny plates, which is held in place with the double adhesive tape or glue contact glue or something so uh, and we then we go a bit closer just to see what's actually happened I need a fine tool which I can um, go under here and this is a dentist tool which is quite handy um, good old quality. I can see somebody has been in this camera before because there's some small breaks in, on the plate. Hmm. Well, and we take the other with the Acer. So And uh, I will begin with this uh, oh, out of frame. We zoom out a little. This uh, return, not the return, but hmm. unscrew it counterclockwise and there are some small parts which we need to place in in order just to put it back in again in the correct the screw a kind of a ring retaining ring distance ring I don't know 
and then we have a spring waved uh, shim and then we have the ring here and mm -hmm, we have another retaining uh, no shim which goes here and there is another thin goes there and then I can take off the exposure wheel which have a notch here and a pin here just to put it in correct position and there's another one shim here <laughs> amazing and uh, now we need to let me say one thing I do not have a um, service manual for this camera so um, let's see what we actually can do <coughs> well need to take this off So I put things in the reading reading order. Mm -hmm. Okay. A bit different what I saw on the internet on some kind of this is sample this uh, camera Interesting. if it's possible to lift up something not really <clears throat> so maybe it just uh, need to come off when I screw on those four screws and the film advance which I will try to unscrew now <clears throat> I need a tool uh, which is my lens spinner uh, I think it will work pretty good and it comes get loose counterclockwise Retaining screw. Put it there. There's a waved shim here. A wheel for the Acer. And this shim comes off. Whatever it is, distance thing. And one need to put a mark somewhere where things go. So this is there when I lift it off. Oh 
will just put a small mark. Just to know where things so now I know where I mean almost and this is uh, the um, film counter this has a spring a returning spring that uh, I think will have engaged with some yeah one lifted up and let it go count, uh, clockwise then I guess it should be possible to lift it off mm -hmm. maybe if it's there things go wrong well I could have just loosened this mm -hmm. yeah interesting Now it comes off, but uh, yeah. I will give it a try. Okay. Now the front needs to be taken off the three screws one here there and there just a flathead screwdriver nothing really special I think there was something. The screw on the side of the of the lens lock ring. Maybe I can just come off with uh, loosen it or I don't know. So it can it goes there then we have to count one two <coughs> three and a half yeah <coughs> three and a quarter to come off here's the groove where it where the lens lock screw goes into now, <clears throat> then I should take off the front plate. It's locked into the front plate here. Uh, I mean, the top plate is locked into the front plate. Well, 
now it should be I guess it should be possible to to unscrew the uh, top cover So it's interesting to see what actually happened inside here. This is screws with a little shim washer somebody would call it now <coughs> so next what will happen okay something come loose but is this a stop or And this weird piece of metal, maybe it has to come off. Oh no! But um, there's no no screws on on the side of this one, so I guess um, there must be some kind of a screw under this small piece of leather. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I was right. But what does it? Okay. Uh, I see. It's just the stop uh, for the film winder well so we know that I remember where it sits because there was a small mark here uh, from the winder handle so I can just put it there but I think this screw need to be taken off I mean I guess so yeah that was actually good mm -hmm. what about the rest of this okay here we go <coughs> So it should be possible to um, just make a small scratch here. Okay. Okay, it cannot only sit in one way. So this. Uh, you expose your wheel. I actually, well, it was not. It wasn't necessary to take off the wheel, but anyway. Um, now we are inside the film advance mechanism. This goes over here. Uh, 
Now, let's see if there is any broken parts or... Looks actually quite okay. Now it should be... Hello, little fellow. So this small thing is a spring, leaf spring, sits here. So we know that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's possible to advance the film. Well, <coughs> I can can actually <coughs> uh, cut the shutter. But it looks like there is something about the um, the roll that it's, the arrow is still there. Hmm. So there's something wrong with this camera. Any gearbox. Maybe something is worn out. Oh, maybe it's the. Uh, hmm. Could be. You see, there is a kind of. There's a little pin. The back cover. The film chamber and that has to push against this here maybe it's possible to see over here it has to push against this and it will it will um, that let some of the gear wheel Engage with the other gear wheels and uh, then acts as a locking mechanism. But it looks like it doesn't really go into. See, it's possible to see. Okay, we go there and it push. I mean, not really much. To me, it looks like it doesn't push much enough. So, what I guess, just a guess, that the um, the pin, I mean, that piece of metal here, that push. Is uh, one can actually access from here, and if I bend it a little, maybe I can um, get it to to get more in place. It must be that, yeah. I think so. <clears throat> so it simply doesn't go into see a push. Hope it's possible. Maybe I can zoom in more.
So, see? <clears throat> and the pin from the from the cover, back cover here, push at the pin down there. You be, maybe you can see. Yeah, there, there, there. But I think it cannot push enough because the, the, yeah, the pin down here has, is not, it has been bended a little, it looks like actually. So um, I guess this has to be bent in the other way, the other direction, hopefully. Hmm. And if I can, um, if I can push a little more on this pin, ah, thick. Sorry. It has to push a lot more than just the <clears throat> back cover. Um, I think it must be the the solution for that. But it's it's just to come into it. <clears throat> Maybe something is bent it a little. Yeah. I think it's the, the problem. You see, it really not move that much. Hmm. I just take a little break. <clears throat>